Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for May 8 through to May 12. A powerful coronal hole formation has just rotated the earth facing side of the disk and it does appear to have strong geoeffective components which may be indicative of a 7 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE and there's not much to report on this service due to the lack of activity on the sun at this present time. Now it is expected that this large coronal hole formation will change all this and we should see a rapid rise in solar wind speeds possibly to 520 kilometers a second on the arrival of the high speed solar wind stream coming from this coronal hole formation CH515 and this is expected on May 8 to May 9 and we should see an increase in earthquake activities once this does so. We're now looking at a split screen of the solar terrestrial activity report and the 193 angstrom with solar monitor of this extremely large coronal hole formation CH515. Now this coronal hole covers a large region and it is expected to rotate through the earth facing position approximately May 5 to May 7 where we should see a day or two later a significant rise in solar wind speeds as a high speed solar wind stream exiting this coronal hole buffets the earth's magnetic field and this should give a green light to some significant earthquake potential. We're now looking at the latest VSL animated forecast map and from this we see from a sun's perspective this large coronal hole formation with respect to the earth and the earth represented by this black dot moving from right to left. Now from this we see the major amount of movement appears to be slightly above in the northern hemisphere and this will be the main area of focus for this watch. Now looking at the WSA Enlil solar wind prediction animation and from this service we see the arrival date of the expected high speed solar wind stream coming from this coronal hole formation and this website is expecting May 8 to be the arrival date and also the speeds of solar winds to reach 550 kilometers a second. Now looking at the SDO composite moving imagery and focusing on this large coronal hole formation which has come into view. Now there are some strong movements showing up in the southern portion of this coronal hole and this may be the emergence of an active region so this will be worth watching over the next few days. Now we do see a magnetic filament rip off the northwestern quadrant and also a solar tsunami follow shortly thereafter and this is a very large eruption on the sun. I'm now going to plot and map this coronal hole formation to the earth and I have isolated 1 to 9 degrees north latitude as a main area of focus for this watch and I'll plot and map some regions now. Central America will be my number one area of concern for this watch as there is some strong solar symmetry from this coronal hole formation to the earth with the main areas of focus being Panama and Costa Rica. And my second area of concern is for Africa, more specifically the regions of Sudan or Ethiopia. And my final area of concern is for the Nicobar Islands region. Stretching down towards northern Sumatra, these will be the main areas of concern for this possible 7 magnitude earthquake for this watch. We're now looking at the Australian Pulsation PC3 index and we do see a reading of 8 registered on this service earlier today. Now this may be indicative of a strong 6 magnitude earthquake possibly for northern or southern Sumatra over the next day or two. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that may be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures and the areas we're focusing on are shaded in darkish green. Now the main readings showing up for this week are in Puerto Rico, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge in the Atlantic Ocean, a strong reading showing up at the base of India and we also have a very strong reading in France and also England and also Northern Algeria does have a strong reading as well. These are the main readings showing up for this week in terms of radiation signatures. We're now looking into stereo behind and from this image we see another significant coronal hole formation following CH515. Now this coronal hole formation has two strong components and it does appear to be three days away from rotating the earth facing side of the disk or the eastern limb. Now it does appear that a very powerful earthquake is embedded in this coronal hole and this ties in perfectly with the earth sun jupiter alignment which falls on May 14. Now it's also worth noting that there is a coronal hole formation which is just rotated through the earth facing position and that's a southern polar coronal hole and I've plotted this to 44 to 49 degrees south latitude and may produce a 5.5 to 5.8 magnitude earthquake in the coming days and this is listed on my website blog or log entry 122. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 4th of May 2012. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net where I'll be providing more content for members and subscribers. 
and also special content on my blog with extra earthquake forecasts. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.